Oh my gosh, Kareen, what's behind you? <gasps> Where? There's a huge spider right there. <laughs> Wait, is this a... April Fools! Yup, you just got pranked by the L-Bot. <sighs> Mr. Rousseau doesn't pay me enough for this. Summer. Yup, and I'm heading straight to the beach. I was at the beach last weekend doing a beach cleanup for Key Club. Here's a look at it. On Saturday, March 27th, members of the Key Club attended the beach cleanup held at Loggerhead in Juno Beach. The cleanup began at 8.30 and students could come to get a bag and gloves to use for their self-guided cleanup. Here's sophomore Bella Fusco talking about why she enjoys attending beach cleanups. I like to go to beach cleanups because it's a good way to get community service hours while social distancing and you get a pretty view. Make sure to come to a cleanup held every Saturday to help keep our beaches clean and get community service hours. This has been Lauren reporting for WRSN. outside in so long it was refreshing seeing the beach again you know one place i miss going during the pandemic <laughs> where the park down the street from me speaking of parks let's go to tish and his skit at the park happy april fool's day february 31st marks the last day we'll see this sparkling fountain following the city of palm beach gardens finalizing their decision to strike it from the mini fountain major soccer public park opened in 1983 the fountain here is the final one remaining of the three fountains that debuted with the park. In addition to the fountain, the secondary entrance of the park has been closed and placed under renovation, and the locals aren't having it. We've had to close this gate due to a demolition of the water fountain. We had to put up tape to make sure that uh, nobody goes through the gate. Uh, our current plan is to just make a lot of noise while we're working on the, the gate, so uh, people stop visiting the, the fountain, and then from there, we could do what we need to do. Local dismay in the loss of the fountain has led one member of the public to make a stand. The fence doesn't look broken. I just want to go play with the water. When asked if construction on the fence gate would affect their final moments with the fountain, they had this to say. No, because it'll sound like the fountain, so it'll be like double fountain. Demolition is slated to begin on April 1st. Until then, the park is to be deemed unsafe to deter locals from entering the premises. We don't know why we're getting rid of the fountain, but someone sent us a letter and they told us that that fountain's got to go, and that's what we do. This has been a WRSN short news report, reported by Zachary Tish. That was too funny. Tish really has a thing for making skits. You know what I have a thing for? Getting on my last nerves. Well, besides that, flag football. Wait, you're good at flag football? No, I'm good at watching other people play flag football. Hello, hell. Well, then you'll love this next segment on our flag football team. Girls flag football is becoming a popular and competitive sport for many schools to play. And this year, many schools better watch out because our girls flag football team is a team to be. The girls flag football team have been practicing nonstop to prepare for their upcoming season. These athletes may be ready to play and win hard, but they still have to be very cautious this season with COVID-19. With COVID-19, there are extra precautions that are being taken to prevent any transmission of the virus. This season with COVID-19 still on the rise, athletes have to be very careful to prevent themselves from getting the virus. Layla Jean, the team defense's linebacker, gives us her take about the upcoming season. About this upcoming season. This upcoming season is going to be a fun one. There's new people, new faces to see, and I'm excited to play. And uh hopefully it doesn't end short like it did last year. Okay, um, so are, do you have any concerns for, you know, the season? Um, the only concern is COVID might cut it short like it did last year. But other than that, I think, well, the teams are shorter this year. Not a lot of girls are trying out. But hopefully we can get on that field and play as a team. Do you think, like, you improved better from last year or this year? I definitely feel like I've improved from last year because... I don't know, I've just been practicing over the summer, so I feel important. What is your like, mo like, what is the most thing you're excited about this year? Most thing I'm excited about, 
Um, <laughs> going and meeting new people is very exciting. Okay, do you think you're gonna like win, you know, go to districts, championships? I hope so. Okay. Even with all the obstacles that presents itself, the girls that football team worked very hard this season to try and win the district championships. This has been Kimmy Benedict reporting for WRSN. Three. One, two, three, three See? Now wasn't that fun to watch? Um, yeah, I guess. Oh my gosh. Imagine being born on April Fool's Day and no one believes you because, you know. <laughs> Why wouldn't anyone believe you? Because today's all about, you know, pranks. Oh. Anyways, while we wait for old girl to come on back to earth, let's see what charges will be celebrating their birthday this weekend. And as always, have a great day and be sure to stay tuned for this week's episode of Field View. What's up you guys? It's your boy Taxi back at the game with yet another episode of Field View. Today we're going to be going around asking students what their favorite superhero is. Let's get it. Today we're coming around asking who is your favorite superhero? So I actually don't have a favorite superhero because I don't watch superhero movies. Um, maybe Iron Man because I felt really bad that he died. And it was just like really sad. Uh, I gotta go with Superman because it's Superman to me. He's super, he's a man, so. So today we're coming around and asking, who is your favorite superhero? Lockdown, that, Wonder Woman. <clears throat> I'ma say Doctor Strange because he be doing that that wizard jump. Yeah. Um, I don't know superheroes. Oh, uh, Black Man. It's a black superhero. I I don't I don't know. Go with uh, the Flash. That boy be moving, but he just fought. He out of the. My favorite superhero is Black Widow because I really like her backstory and I love her costume and I also really love Scarlett Johansson. Nice! I'm gonna go with Black Panther. Supergirl. Nice. Uh, I don't know much about superheroes, but I really like Spider-Man. What's up, man? Today we're coming around asking, who is your favorite superhero? Black Panther. My favorite superhero is Wonder Woman because she is strong and empowering for young girls to look up to. Who is your favorite superhero? Um, my favorite superhero is Wanda Maxima. Nice. <laughs> my favorite superhero is Batman. Nice. My favorite superhero has got to be Captain America. Who's your favorite superhero? Uh, Batman. <laughs> my favorite superhero is Captain America. Nice. Um, Spider-Man. Um, today we're coming around asking, who is your favorite superhero? Who's gonna go first? I like Deadpool a lot. I like Thor. I like Spider-Man. My, my favorite superhero is Spider-Man. Mine's him. <laughs> Superman. Nice. 